Pacific Central Station. Welcome back to another vlog. That's not good lighting. Let's go here. Um, since it's Christmas, I thought we would make a little gingerbread cookies. I say every single year I'm gonna do this and I never ever do it. I've never made them before, but I have everything for it. So we're gonna do it. I have all my things here. I'm currently just grounding up some cinnamon, which is not easy. <laughs> it is not an easy task because I only had cinnamon sticks. So I have to ground it up into a powder which is turning out to be a whole lot harder than I was expecting. But anyway, I have all my spices here. This molasses, baking powder, flour, all that stuff. I'll link the recipe that I'm gonna use down below. Um, and I also have some cookie cutters. So I have a tiny little gingerbread man and a gingerbread lady. And then I have bigger ones here that I got. These were actually my mom's that she had brought over last year, but we never ended up making them. Um, but I forgot I had them, so I bought other ones. So we're gonna make a few different ones, a few different sizes. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Hi buddy. I kind of messed up a little bit. I put the sugar in the flour mix when I was supposed to put the sugar in the butter mix, so. Instead of starting all over again, I'm just gonna take a bit extra sugar and mix it in with the butter now. They might be a little bit sweeter, but it's better than having to make the whole mix again because I don't think I have enough to actually make a whole mix. Even if they look you, I'll be happy with that. little dough balls here and I'm gonna put these in the fridge for a few hours Paisley you okay okay so it's the next day I was just too tired to finish these last night because they needed to be refrigerated for a while so I just decided to refrigerate them overnight so now it's the next day so we have the balls here leave them out for like five ten minutes in room temperature so it's easier to roll them out so then we roll them it says then I have to refrigerate them again for like ten minutes because then it's easier to shake the little cookie cutters and then we can get to baking our little cookies Okay, these are a whole lot harder to roll than I was expecting.
So I have them in the oven now and I can smell the cinnamon and the spices. Now honestly, I don't really like cinnamon. I know, why would I bake gingerbread cookies when I don't like cinnamon? But it's a Christmas vibe, people. So we're just going with this whole cinnamon vibe. I don't mind a little bit of cinnamon. It's just not, it's not my, my spice of choice. But I feel like the older I get, the more I can tolerate it a little bit more, you know? Anyway, they're in the oven. Oh, they are looking good. Uh -uh. I also got this little decorating gel in white so we can decorate the little um, little cookies and these things. Cake decorations, little silver things. There wasn't a whole lot when I went to buy them, but I just thought this would be easy because then I could just draw this little face or whatever. So I'm rolling out some more and now it actually looks like Ireland too. Doesn't it? It actually kind of does. They're actually quite nice. I'm surprised that they're actually nice considering I fucked up the recipe. Mm, these are actually really good. I'm glad I finally made them because they're quite delicious. Thank you. 